All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can deploy container apps or websites using Docker in Azure. Now, if you're familiar with Docker, it's a nice, easy way to kind of pull and develop um, a lot faster without having to worry about uh, your environment on your computer or someone else's computer being different because it containerizes all the resources and things you need for that app to work. So with that, we're going to go ahead and try and deploy a website uh, using um, Azure's app services to then go ahead and test that out. So if you're familiar already or not, you would go to hubs.docker.com and you can essentially search for whatever you're looking for. So let's say you're in IT and you're looking to test out some different IP address management servers. So you can you know, type in IPAM. And just kind of see what comes up. So there's some different things, and if there's a certain one, we're going to try one called PHP IPAM. That's one that I'm familiar with here. So, and typically I usually try to go for the ones that have the most downloads because typically those are the ones that kind of are being used the most. So I'm going to go here and they have what are called compose files so docker compose files are kind of ways to automate um, what needs to be ran whenever you're whenever this gets uh, built so you can take this and you need to put it in a yaml file format so i'm going to copy all of this here and copy that and i'm going to open up my VS Code and just close up some of this here. So I'm going to create a new folder. Here's my documents. New folder called ICAM. Open that up. figure that out later. So now in here I'm going to create a new file and we're just going to call it ipam.yaml. Now I'm going to paste all everything in there. And usually you want to go through and just kind of see if it requires you to enter any, any you know credentials or something in. So here database password I'm just going to put um, admin 2022. You obviously you want to make that a little more secure then go down here and change this one also down here to admin 2022 and then for root password we need to put in a, a password here as well for the database and then that looks like it so yeah, I don't see anything else here. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now what we can do is say this is something we want to develop, put in um, a website. And they have ones for like WordPress. So it's you know if you're looking to do a WordPress site, you take the official WordPress uh, um, Docker container and run that up there in the cloud as well. So now if you're not if you don't have much Azure experience, the great thing about this is it's a lot, it's really um, simple. There's some kind of uh, um, knowledge of what's kind of going on a little bit to kind of make it more seamless, but you can essentially go to create resource and just put in web app here. And we're going to go subscriptions, pay as you go, resource group. We can create a new one, so let's go ahead and call this IPAM hit OK. In the resource group is just essentially a way to kind of um, group resources that have a similar uh, life cycle. So for the DNS name, um, this you know has to be kind of unique, so it's not available. So we're going to go IPAM 2022, and then that's available. So what this will be is like the DNS name that you use to access your website. So then we're going to go Docker container, and then Linux. And then we're going to go, let's see, our Linux plan. So we can change this to be 
we want to do just dev test and we're just going to do like you can do like a free there's like a i think this one's free yeah so this one's free um gives you just a couple days um minutes a day to compute to test it and then you can go with one that kind of gives you some more availability as far as uh, the amount of resources and things like that and that typically actually works for like a lot of low, low needed testing and stuff like that so if you're just testing something out or running something that doesn't require a lot of resources that's a good uh, plan to start with then we're going to go next to our docker section and we're actually going to do a docker compose then we're going to do docker hub and then it's going to be public so the access type if it's public or private um, depending on the, uh, the repository and then you're going to check your configuration files so we're going to go back into that documents folder and then choose that yaml configuration and then hit go to networking and then this some of this stuff is like you know um, it says can this web app can be provisioned with the inbound address being public to the internet or isolated to the Azure virtual network so if you just want to have this like isolated to a virtual network that's built within your environment you can do that but we're going to have this actually um, access to the world here and then I'm just going to delete it when we're done and then we're gonna, not going to worry about that or worry about tagging and let's go ahead and review and create so this is everything that's going to be created now this takes a little bit now when it runs it's actually going to have to not only the app plan and the app service, but it's going to need a down, um, um, anything that was mentioned in this file here. It's going to need to pull this image, expose these ports, set these environment variables. Then it's going to, you know, um, restart unless stopped. Then you got some volumes being created. Now this depends on the Marriott DB down here so the MariaDB is going to grab the latest one from Docker it's going to set this environment variable and then create these volumes and then also we have our cron job and this sets the um, you know scanner rules and stuff like that so all this is going to be needed to be done and depending on the resources it could take a little bit of time so this is actually finished here but if we go to the resource, we should get a website. So you can see where it says ipan2022.azurewebsites.net. If you want, you can go into the, let me click on, where is that here? Configuration. It should, it might take some time to come up. So see, you're going to see like the different, um, connection strings and stuff like that in here some other stuff like FTP uh, FTP then there's also an area where you can configure um, networking if you want to restrict it to like specific IP addresses you can do that in here so if you want to only uh, allow it from say your home network of some sort but, uh, so we go back to the resource and we try to access it, it may not come up, so let's just double check here. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to actually get the DNS populated out to the internet, which is, is probably going to ride at um, Ada, uh, Microsoft's um, DNS and then propagate it out to where you're at, and then also all the other stuff that gets needed. So once this comes up, then we'll go ahead and go from there. Okay, so now we got the PHP installation started, and this is running from Azure's uh, websites.net um, DNS name. So now if we walk through the installation, automatic database installation, the username is going to be root, then the password is still it's still in my clipboard. Is that there? And then install. And continue and then I believe the password is admin or actually this is I'm just going to use the same password for the website here and proceed to log in and I think it's ad or admin for the username default yep 
And that's it. In less than almost 10 minutes, we have a fully functioning website in Azure tested from Docker. So it's like I said, it's a good way to kind of test different images if you kind of don't have a Docker environment set up or you just want to try some different um, applications in the cloud, whether it be for home, private, or corporate use, that's a great way to try it out. Again, if you have any comments in regards to how this is set up or anything that needs changed or questions in regards to Docker, just go ahead and drop me a comment down below. Be sure to help you out where I can. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.